Hey guys, how's it going? Very excited for today, a long time coming. Finally getting installed the Camp King Hardshell rooftop tent. We're gonna run through today just how easy it really is to install on your car. There's a couple of safety things we've got to run through, but it's pretty easy overall. All right, let's get to it. They've made a really simple underneath the rooftop tent. You get two main support bars here, which run the whole length of the rooftop tent. That's helped support your weight when you're in the rooftop tent. And your two outer bars here, which run the whole length as well, they're your mounting rails. Now they're designed to be right on the outside here to make it easier to mount when it's on your roof. And also having it as far apart as possible helps distribute the weight evenly as well. They give you these six brackets in the kit. You get your two holes there, which line up with the rails. And that hole there, which lines up with your rooftop tent, uh, your roof rack, sorry. And that simply slides in there and it'll go along anywhere from here. So you make your six as evenly as possible. The plan was just to lift it up on the hoist, drive the car under it and lower it down onto the car. But it was about five centimeters short of reaching the hoist just maxed out. So I had to go four blokes, we just lifted it on then. Now with my roof rack, I've got this custom made by an engineer. And if you want to see how, click that video there. I've got T-slots inside, like channels that run right along the rails. And what I've got, these special T-slot nuts. They've got a little ball bearing with a spring inside. These will locate inside each rail. So I'm gonna slot that in each rail right along. And then the brackets for the rooftop tent will bolt straight into these. It comes with two ladder rack mounts. Now they're just Allen key bolts. The bolts are already in there, so you just undo it with the Allen key and just bolt these straight on. I've got one on this side here because I'm gonna have the 270 degree awning opening to the back. So sometimes I won't be able to get in from the back. So I want to be able to enter from the side and you can see the other one's right there. Last thing left to do is connect your 12 volt inside Right here, there's a cigarette socket and two USB ports. And then up the top, there's a built-in light as well. So they all run off the same wire just here. And that's about two meters length they give you. So you run that along your roof dirt rack. You might need to extend the wiring a little bit. I run that to my fuse box with a 20 amp fuse. Now, because they're accessory sockets, they're only rated to 20 amps. So don't go any bigger than a 20 amp fuse. And that's all there is. It's all mounted up now. The six brackets are all evenly spaced. Uh, the rooftop tent's all measured up and all bolted down. Now that's it for the installation, but there's some things you've got to consider before you even go ahead with this. Uh, you can't just go throwing this straight on some ladder racks. It can't be supported um, 300 mil from either end unsupported. It has to be supported the whole way or 30 centimeters back. And you can't have more than 800 mil in the middle unsupported. So you can't have a ladder rack here and a ladder rack here. It just cannot handle that much weight. Having a ladder actually may think it's fine, but over time, as your car flexes and you hop in and out of the rooftop tent, it's gonna fatigue eventually and eventually fail. And they won't warrant that. If it's not manned correctly, it won't be warranted. Um, it's a huge investment and you want to get years of use out of it. So make sure it is mounted correctly. If you don't feel confident doing it yourself, I'd recommend paying a professional to do it. You wanna make sure it's nice and secure. I was so excited to get on the roof last night. I slept in the rooftop tent in the yard. I couldn't even wait till I went camping. Now, hopefully next weekend, the awning brackets arrive and I'm able to mount the awning directly to the rooftop tent. I'm getting a Camp King 270 degree awning as well. Um, if you guys got any more questions about the installation of a hard shell rooftop tent, don't hesitate, leave a comment, always happy to answer. Now, I'm gonna wait about six months before I do a review on this. I wanna really use it first and know the ins and outs of it before I give my opinion on the rooftop tent. But thanks for watching this video, guys. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. I love trying to help people out. But catch you in the next video, guys. Cheers.